In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to give you the steps to import video content from a DVD disc. You may archive some of your old video clips and want to retrieve them. This will show you how to do that. Another option perhaps is maybe you receive them this way from a vendor or client and this will help you pull them off the DVD disc. One note of caution, it's illegal to take copyrighted material and pull it into PowerDirector this way. In fact, much of the material on copyrighted videos, as those made by Hollywood, is encrypted to prevent this process. But if you have the rights to the material, let me show you how to import it. It's not intuitive, not what you might expect. So I have a clip here that I'm using on this particular project. I'll put it on track number one. And let's assume I want a second clip, and this clip is going to be on a DVD. I've already put it in my DVD drive. The odd way to get to it is you click on the record button in the media room area, and I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to, going to click on record from webcam. Again, that's not intuitive. It opens up the screen and you notice the fourth icon from the left is lit, which indicates it's looking for my DVD drive automatically and it finds it. And so in the bottom left corner, it finds that I have 10 separate titles. They're not titled on this particular DVD. It's a DVD-R, a DVD video, and the disk size is 640 megabytes. If in, under a title I had chapters, I can click on the plus and that will give me the name of the chapter. Again, this one is basically unlabeled, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to take like title 7 here and just click on it and it will highlight both the title and the chapter. How do I bring it into my project? Oddly enough, what I do is I click on the record button. Now we have a folder that we are going to store it in. And if you want to store it in a different folder in your computer system, you click on change folder. So what I'm going to do is just click on the record button over here. And it will extract that particular clip from that DVD disc. When it's finished the process, you notice at the bottom, you have the recorded length. This happens to be 1 minute and 52 seconds. We have the profile. And I also have a name I can put on it. I'm going to put test 2. And now click on OK. So when it's done that, it will save the project on my computer system. It will give me a picture of my captured content and I'm ready to go. All I need to do is click on the X in the upper right corner of this screen and that will close it. The next thing it will do is it will take that and pull that into my media room so that now I have it I can begin to use it. Let's take and drag it down here and if I give myself a little more room you see I have the clip with the audio and the video track and I can play it and edit it like any other piece of content that I may have. So that's the process of bringing this in with a new interface in PowerDirector 24 or 365 when you have material on the DVD drive that you have access to and rights to.